Do you want to learn how to build an epic Minecraft starter house like this here which you can create for your first base? If so, be sure to watch to the end of this video and I will show you just how easy it is. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ogre here and today I bring you another episode of Minecraft How to Build series. But before we get into this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And in the description, you will find a link to my epic Discord server where you will find a dedicated IP to my Minecraft server which you can join and play at any time. I play on it quite often and you guys can join in, find out build tips, uh, play with me and ask any questions you may have. But without any further ado, let's get stuck into this video. To start off our build, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a four high pillar with oak wood logs like so. Then on the ground you want to make a space for the door by going over to and making a nice doorway like so. Oh my bad, I'm building it completely wrong. And then uh, over here you're going to build another log, going another pillar going up like this here. And what you're going to do is you're very very simply going to close it off like so. And then what you want to do is you simply want to fill this out and replace this here um, bottom log with some uh, birch wood. So I'm going to grab some birch planks, sorry, not birch wood. There we go. And what you're going to do here is you're going to place spruce door. You want a spruce door as in a castle you end up having kind of those olden doors rather than something very, very modern. So this is essentially going to be the very front of the house as you approach it. So what you also want to do is you want to add a few logs going forwards like so. And then what you can do is you can add a few uh, buttons up at the very front just for design purposes like this here which will be very very nice and then we're going to finish off decorating this here just in this little bit right so your next step is simply to expand the house this way by a couple of blocks so what you want to do is you want to go across by four blocks like so uh, build another pillar going all the way up by four and you're going to expand by another four blocks just like so so one two oh, one two three four and on your fourth block you're going to finish it off by going up by four and close it off yet again with wooden logs like so. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna have like a nice small hut uh, where you'll be able to um, essentially um, have your own uh, castle den. So this is a very tiny castle which you can build in your survival series very, very quickly. So um, yeah, let's continue on uh, finishing this off. So I'm gonna really quickly finish this here off and uh, once this here is done, we're going to proceed on starting off with the floor of our build. So, as you can see, this is going to be a very, very simple build. The house is going to be rather small, but it's going to have two simple floors, which you can access at any any point in time. And what you can do here also is you can simply add another block on out the ways like this here, just to kind of make it um, that, mu that much kind of uh, more realistic, uh, if you will. So... What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go around all of the edges just like so and add um, a few of these logs simply going out the ways like this here which will be absolutely beautiful and there you have it this is kind of our uh, main build of the house so on the inside what your next oh we have a chicken living on with us what your next goal will be is simply to put one block across like this here on each of the um, sides so that you have nice windows going all the way across and you want to make sure you do this all across the um, sides of the building so that you actually get some natural light in just like so and as it's the back of the, of the back of the house you can simply close the whole thing off just like so uh, to make it nice and smooth so this is essentially what we're sitting with at the minute uh, next step is the roof to begin our roof you're going to want to start off with some um, spruce stairs just like these here and what your uh, main goal is essentially going to be is to uh, make the roof look rather um, kind of tall and go all the way around the edges. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to go around the edges like so um, all the way through. And then what you can do on each of these pillars here is simply add one block as if it's holding it up like so. And like so on this side here, giving it that bit more depth to the house. Uh, you want to make sure that these blocks are upside down so that they look nicely. Um, so I'm going to quickly do this here all the way across. And as you can see, this is going to start com coming together very, very sharp and very, very nicely. And on the inside here, you're not really going to have as much as you would imagine. So what you're going to want to do here also is simply um, 
place a block going down the ways like so on each of the sides so that you have um, a staircase matching up with the whole of the design so I'm really quickly going to add these here in on each of the sides and I'm going to show you guys what to do next our house currently looks like this here what your next step is going to be is to simply add staircases going all the way across like this here and yes you guessed it right this is essentially going to be the uh, main idea behind the house is a nice roof kind of closing in like so as you're going to have like a small tavern house which you can use to um, essentially live in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to continue on building these blocks up higher so that um they eventually meet and i'm going to show you guys what that looks like in just a few seconds there we have it currently our roof looks like this here so what we have at the very top is simply two spruce slabs going down on each of the sides one block of overhang going all the way around and as you can see you can see the logs kind of going out bit by bit which is essentially exactly what we were looking for um, so your next step is going to be to go inside and finish off decorating the inside of the house and setting a nice ceiling so I'm going to quickly convert the floor into birch wood planks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use spruce slabs to simply do a nice little ceiling which we'll be able to use as our second floor so I'm going to do this I'm going to show you guys how that looks your house, cur your house currently looks like this here what you want to do then is really simply fill out the gaps which we left for some of our windows just like so which is absolutely perfect then at the very back you want to go down the middle and make yourself a nice little gap that you will use for some ladders i'm going to grab the ladders and simply place them going all the way up to our um, first floor like so and as you can see you can see the outline of the building down here which is absolutely perfect and exactly what we need to finish off the second floor so the second floor is also kind of spacious it's it's not as big as the uh, bump ground i believe but you will be able to use all your um kind of uh, all the space very very efficiently so uh first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cover up these here holes uh, while also leaving up some space for glass so i'm going to really quickly grab some spruce um spruce slabs or spruce planks even apologies there we go and what you're going to want to do is you're simply going to want to fill out these gaps here like so and in the middle you're going to throw in a, some glass just like this here and at the top over there you're simply going to place another spruce slab like so um, this is essentially so that um, our spruce wood covers up the gaps from staircases and you can see outside whenever you're looking outside and inside once you're out of the house so uh, next step is adding some lights so i'm going to grab some lanterns really really quickly uh, don't worry this isn't uh, we're nowhere near the end of it actually yet and what we're going to do is we're going to place our lanterns on each side like so and then one on top of each of the planks like this here which will be absolutely perfect and as you can see this will work absolutely fine and you have like nice little uh, windows going out uh, looking out to each of the sides then what you want to go what you want to do is you want to go downstairs and set up the house on the inside so uh, we're only going to set up the essentials as this is kind of like the olden house suit so you want to make sure you've got all your kind of tools there that you might need so um, also we're going to need some chests as well so a furnace uh, crafting table and a double chest over here uh, will do absolutely perfectly and then on the other side what you want to do is you want to place a nice little ender chest that you can um, use then you're also going to grab some barrels and you're going to use the barrels kind of as a decoration tool all the way through and these will also add a little bit of storage to our little house uh, so don't worry we're not done just yet on the inside uh, what you're going to do then is you're simply going to want to grab some oak fences like so and some oak stairs yes we're going to use oak stairs for the decorations um just to make it a little bit different so what you're going to want to do over here is simply uh place a double oak stair case or double oak stairs like so and then what you want to do is grab some signs like these here and we're going to get rid of the furnace actually we don't need that in our hand as of yet place the signs on each of the sides like so and a nice little place for your um, table and then what you want to do is you want to grab some um, carpet so we're going to grab um, black carpet and this is going to be our tiny little table in the middle of the house just like so and this will be absolutely perfect then what you want to do is very very simply um, on each of the corners you're going to place um, or actually no uh, that won't work because we have our 
signs on the other side. So in the middle of the room you're going to place a wooden fence and then what you're going to do is you're going to grab a lantern and place it on each one of the fences like so, so that they light up the middle of the house as you walk in. Um, what you can also do is you can use some uh, ender rods just like this here and simply uh, put them down on each uh, on one of the corners or simply going out of the wall like so from both of these sides over there so that they add a little bit more light and you want to do the same on this side here and this will light up the house on the inside. Uh, after this here what you're going to want to do is you want to grab a few uh, paintings and simply use the paintings to decorate the inside of the house. So for example um, you want to place a nice little painting on each side of the windows. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to place one here and one over here oh, one over here for example so you have two separate paintings going diagonally from each other and they all look different and it makes it kind of that little bit more homey than what you'd expect and your next step then is to simply go up this up the stairs up the ladder like so and what you're going to do up here is you're going to make your bedroom so i'm really quickly going to grab um, a nice little bed uh, so we're going to grab a white bed for this here a case scenario and we're going to get an armor stand that we're going to use so our bed will be pointing directly from this here section what you can do is you can also make a bigger bed by simply grabbing some oak wood, uh, oak wood planks like so and then grabbing some oak, uh, oak wood half slabs like this here and going all the way around your bed to make the bed as nice as possible considering you will be the king of the castle so you have a nice little area there to live in uh, also to utilize the space as best as possible you will want to grab some barrels and simply place the barrels all the way across all like so um, or like oh, my apologies and place them they're not coming through correctly there we go we're almost there like so on each of the sides of the bed um, simply so that this will kind of add a little bit to the design of it while also keeping it um, kind of um, as efficient as possible space so you can store anything you want in your side of your barrels instead of having double chests going all the way through right? uh, to finish off what you're going to want to do is you want to put a nice uh, armor stand here and grab as much um, armor as possible uh, i'm going to grab some nice diamond armor through right? place that on top and then what we're going to do after this is we're going to finish off the rest of the castle so there you go um, you can place this all the way around you have a nice little armor stand here and what you might also want to do is simply place a nice little chest on one of the sides like so um, utilizing the space as much as possible you can even do two double chests up at the top like this here and this will be absolutely perfect and essentially this is the end of the design of our interior so I'm going to show you guys how to finish off this castle now that we are, we're outside of the house uh, what you want to do also is you want to grab some spruce stairs and simply place them upside down um, all the way across the wood like this here to kind of close off the gap that we had around the windows so i'm going to do this here on the other side also oh, make sure the stairs are going all the way upside down all like so and what you can do around these edges here is simply place a few slabs or a few staircases going out like this here um, on each of the corners of the house um, also you could essentially do this here around um, all of the all of the logs so like this here and then once we're done with this here what we're going to do is we're going to use some trap doors and essentially hide the wood in the middle um, so what I'm going to do is I'm really quickly going to grab um, our spruce trap doors just like so and close this off completely like so uh, and this will finalize the build of the house completely and our um, exterior will be finished off so as you can see the house is looking great on the outside so far uh, oh, my bad and what your final step for this here will essentially be is to add a little bit of light on the outside of the house so to do so you will grab some lanterns very very simple and go around each of the each of the um, stairs hanging out like this here and simply place them in which will make your house as nice as possible and will look absolutely amazing during the night and provide plenty of light around the house so uh, your next step after this here is very very simple you want to make sure you go out by four blocks diagonally so one two three and four and on your fifth block what you're going to want to do is you're going to set up a small tire on each of the sides so you want to make sure you count this here as a corner from each of the sides 
Uh, I'm going to have to quickly clear this air up and once I do this I'm going to show you guys how to proceed with dress. There we have it. Our area is already dug up. What you want to do then is you want to grab some stone, uh, stone bricks like these here and on each of the corners you're simply going to set up a small tower going out by um, five blocks so one two three four and five and you're going to make a perfect square so one two three four and five going all the way in and closing it off so you have a nice three by three space in the middle uh, i'm going i'm going to do this on each of the corners and i'm going to show you guys what to do after this so our house currently looks like this here from above and as you can see all of the towers are perfectly aligned. So uh, your next step is to, I'm going to show you guys how to build one tower and you're going to have to replicate this all the way around. So uh, make sure to follow the tutorial come all the way through to the end. To begin off, you're going to want to build the tower up by four blocks and simply close it off like so, with leaving a nice little space in the middle for a window. Um, you want to make sure that you're able to um, access the windows from each of the sides like so. And they're all two blocks high and they're always directly in the middle. So I'm really quickly going to um, do this here and on the very inside, um, which will be over here, you want to make a nice little entrance um, so that you can only access, or sorry, my bad, apologies. Uh, the entrance is over here in the very middle where the gates will lead you in. So as you can see, I've done this here and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to replicate this once again and close the roof off it. This is going to be a small castle. So I'm going to really quickly do this and show you guys how it looks like. There we have it. Our, our building currently looks like this here and this is absolutely fine. So you, you want to make sure that you always have um, glass panes in your hand. And what I'm going to do really quickly is um, simply fill this here out with glass. And I'm going to show you guys how to proceed on with the rest. Um, after I finish off this tower, I'm going to really quickly finish off building the rest and show you guys how to proceed on um, with the rest of the building. So um, I've also included the windows up on each side. However, um, the window facing that tower and the window facing that tower will not be filled out. Um, this is simply because these are going to be our walkways and you're going to be able to use them to walk all the way around the building. So um, as for floor, we're going to use birch wood, which I'm really quickly going to put in here and I'm going to show you guys how to proceed on with the rest. There we have it. This is our birch floor at the moment. And then what your next step is going to be is to simply um, use birch half slabs going all the way around the top like this here, uh, all the way to the very, very edge. And then what you want to do is on, the, on each of the corners, what you're going to do is you're going to grab some ladders and simply place them all the way up leading to the top like this here which is going to take you into your second floor. Oh, apologies, I've done the floor a bit too low. Um, this here has to be your um, exit, so you need to make sure that everything's kind of leveled out. So apologies for this here, I've um, leveled it out a little bit wrong. So there you go. So you're gonna have a, oh, um, so you're gonna have a nice little path all the way up to the very top like so. And you're not gonna stop there as you're gonna continue on to the very, very top like this here. And at the top, you will have your um, watchtower, essentially, uh, where you will climb. And at the top, you're simply going to cover this here up with one block of um, one block height. Uh, and then on each of the corners and each uh, block in the middle, you're simply going to add one block higher, like so, so that you have a nice castle wall and a nice castle tower like this here. And as you can see, this will work absolutely fine. It'll be absolutely beautiful. But... In order to finish it off completely, what you want to do is you want to grab some bricks, uh, bricks uh, staircases and place them in upside down like so, going all the way around the castle um, simply for design purposes, which will make it feel a little bit more kind of, um, I don't know, it's, it's just going to add a little bit of a tower um, feel to the very top of the building. So as you can see, your tower currently looks like this here, which is absolutely perfect and looks absolutely amazing. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this tower across there, there and there and then I'm going to show you guys how to connect them fully. Currently we have um, four towers sitting like this here, perfectly aligned um, on each of the edges of our house. So as you can see this is starting to form into a small castle base which has a nice watchtower on each of the tops. Um, so what you're going to want to do next is very very simply, I'm going to do the sides and the back of the, um, of the base very very quickly first. And essentially it is simply to fill this here gap in completely with um, with uh, stone, st 
stone bricks there we go apologies i couldn't get my words out and make a nice little path like so three by three on each of the sides while also making a nice little overhang on um, a nice little um barrier on each of the sides so that you can walk across from each of these tires i'm going to quickly go all the way around and i'm going to show you guys what to do next we currently have a beautiful um ca a tiny castle survival base like this here but we're not finished just yet what you're going to want to do is very simply replicate the essentially um a double kind of block going all the way across that will protect you from falling off each of the edges um at the very front of the house um but we're not going to finish it off just there as we're going to have a nice um, entrance leading into the house so i'm going to show you guys essentially how to set the whole thing up so that it looks absolutely perfectly and that um, um and how to finish it off but as you might notice i didn't do a wall all the way around on the inside simply so that you can use this space whether it's for animals for a small farm or in the sides um, that's absolutely perfect as well. I'd recommend um, going inside of each of these uh, walls and simply setting up a really, really nice um, wheat farm all the way through with, with a hoe so that your area is uh, as efficient as possible. As you want to make sure you're using up almost all the blocks um, in your castle simply so that the area in the inside is um, kind of working and it's um, as good as possible for you to use and get as many materials uh, as you can. So what you're gonna wanna do here is simply set uh, up a f uh, three by f or a four, a five across um, uh, fence like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're simply gonna go down by one block here and you're going to continue this trend until you reach the floor like so. There we go. And what you're gonna do with the rest is you're simply going to fill it out and you're going to do this here on both of the sides, leaving a nice little entrance into your house like this here. So as you can see, I'm simply going uh, down by one block and across by one block like so. And over here, you're simply going to want to fill the side as it's a little bit lower than the other side. And this here will top off our kind of um, build as, as, as for now. So there you go. This is essentially your build um, as it stands. So what you might also want to do is um, simply so that it looks um, completely um, completely level, you might just want to tidy everything up completely like so. And there you have it. This is going to this is essentially the entrance for the for the building. And on each of the corners, before we finish off, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a small lantern, simply so that we have a nice nice bit of light going all the way across. Uh, what you can do is you can set them on each of the corners like this here giving us a nice bit of light on each of the sides uh, which I'm going to do and then what we're going to also want to do is place a few lanterns going all the way across on each of the uh, walls. You can also add a few blocks um, to separate them and add a little bit of extra cover like this here so once every two blocks um, make it one block higher but for this tutorial I'm just going to keep it the way it is and I'm going to place a few random um, lanterns going all the way through on one of the sides. Um, you can also have this here on both of the sides if you prefer so like so. Um, this will of course increase the amount of light going all the way around, um, your, uh, around your castle so it might be a decent idea to simply have them going all across like this here and as you can see the whole castle is shaping up rather nicely. And essentially this is going to be very very simple to you for you to build as it only requires a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone um, to complete this creation so um, I highly recommend if you're um, looking for something a little bit cooler than a standard house um, this here is the build for you uh, it's going to work every time whenever you're building it and it's, it's, it's going to look very very impressive whenever you're showing this here off to your friends and as you can see this works absolutely perfectly and down here on the fence what you can do is you can add two lanterns as well leading you leading a nice path into the house so as you can see uh, the build is absolutely insane uh, you have a nice little castle with a nice house in the middle where well essentially you're going to live the king um, or queen if you rather um, we don't discriminate um, so yeah there you go guys this has been it for this episode of minecraft how to build series i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to slap the like button i put a really really lot of effort into this tutorial so i'd appreciate all the support i can get also if you're new to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe button it helps me out a great deal check out the discord server in the description like i said earlier in the video 
And um, thanks for watching once again. This has been Augie here. Have an awesome day. Goodbye. <laughs>